We're out here. This is my first stream ever. I'm not really expecting anyone to watch, but it would be pretty cool if um, some people do show up. So I'm just gonna talk to myself for now. So the theme for today is we're building a cottage core house, also known as a cottage, because I know that that's trending. That's it's fun. Everybody is cottage core these days. So I'm just kind of leaning into that because I am a follower after all. So just to go along with my little cottage theme, I'm gonna make some characters that wear cottage core aesthetic. I know it's really not important what their faces look like because I'm mostly like doing this to build the house, but um, I just love creating a sim. I love this vibe. It's always been one of my favorite parts of the game. Although lately I've just become more and more into like the building. I never knew how much I loved building shit. Nice. Hear me out. No. I couldn't even convince myself. I really wish that whenever you set up how they look in the first, like in the everyday outfit, that it would just continue the exact same face look and everything throughout the rest of them. Cause it always just puts on all these unnecessary little accessories. It changes their makeup and everything. I don't want to do that every time. What? See, what the hell? I think The Sims just assumed she was married. She is, or at least she's gonna be in a relationship, but I'm just shocked that they knew that, you know? Okay. Oh, thank you. She's got a little something something going on in the back of that dress. Okay. Who knew? She was keeping that a secret from us. All right, so we gave Marlene the nature aspiration. I think we're gonna give him food because they're gonna have their own garden. Marcel's gonna want to cook up all his own fancy meals with the vegetables that they grow in their garden. Oh, he's got gray hair. Come on. Don't give my man gray hair. I think that sweater is great. I think he really looks like he's gonna read a book with a little glass of whiskey by the fire or something. This is the first option of all of the clothing items, but I, I kind of feel like we have it. I kind of feel like that's it though. I feel like I don't have a choice but to use that. So, okay, that's so sweet. He's got a wedding ring too. Okay, how'd they know? <sighs> Loving the whiskey grandpa energy that we've created in the studio today. <laughs> he could, okay, professor vibe? Please tell me there's um <laughs> elbow pads on this. Oh shit! Y'all seeing this? You seeing this? I think this is gonna be my reference. Hopefully you can see that. So basically, I need two floors, but then I need like a little section in the front to kind of jut out. It just needs to be a little bit like ramshackle, a little bit things popping up in different places. So it looks like the people who made it didn't quite like really know what they were getting themselves into when they started. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the kitchen and the dining area as one, and then we're just gonna pop a little bathroom on the back and then on the top. Let me just do a little math in my head. Hopefully this will work. I'm gonna just put a bedroom like that. No, like that. Okay, here's where the living room is downstairs. So maybe we'll have something here, which is where the stairs will come up. No, it'll be small. Okay. And I'm already going back on my word because I'm gonna delete this just so I can make the silhouette of the house a little more interesting. I'm gonna go with that and you'll see what that what I'm like planning for that later. Cause I do have a plan. It's just, it's all in here. I'm not sharing it at this moment because I'm not sure if it will work. Okay, this is like gonna be the bathroom. So what I'm doing here, like an upstairs bathroom, we're just gonna jut out so that I can put like its own little roof on it. And I feel like that would look cute and cottagey. Thinking about future me when I'm actually creating roofs on this because roofs are truly the, the bane of my existence. This is where I'm getting a little crazy. I'm thinking the door will go like that, like the front door. And that might look kind of cool if it have a, has its own little roof. Maybe actually, it will be bigger. I'm gonna smack some roofs on that baby. 
the style. All right, we're gonna make it really tall, like unusually tall, taller than it needs to be. <gasps> Perfect. Too much? Just, just enough? Just enough, I think. We're gonna do outdoor walls now. We're gonna do stone, I think. It's like, it's a lot, but it might be what this build falls for and what it needs. I was pretty sure about this stone, about doing a stone house, but now that I'm seeing this thing with like the brown on the edges, I feel like that might be perfect. Like I'm actually shocked because I did not foresee this. Can someone explain to me? why I cannot why I can't place this particular wall here you know I want there to be a little I want there to be brown on the left side there do you feel me am I crazy I think I'm actually making perfect sense I'm just so weirded out like it it seems like that should be what happens right that it would go it goes at the edge of every other corner, you know? I don't see that cute brown trim, do you? No, I did not think so. Thank you. Now I want to find some windows that maybe match it or... Or not. I think part of older cabins and cottages is sort of that like... They don't always match all the things because maybe they were put in at different times or maybe i don't know it just seems like the uh, houses that are a little older are always like a little fun and a little mismatched and also i wasn't even thinking about windows when i created this so i wasn't thinking about how like you cannot put a low window on this side Ugh, okay i'm really trying to make the window right there work for me but it's just not going to and i are i already know that but I just haven't admitted it yet to myself. And I guess this is me admitting it. So that's actually growth and progress when you think about it that way. Now here we go, we're just gonna speed run this part. This might just be the end of my, no. You always need a roof trim, always need a roof trim. That is a house, huh? I'm gonna just have to do a tiny one. Yeah, I really wish it could go all the way to the edge. Ugh, I- what? What happened to my door? That is so rude. Okay, that color's cuter anyway. So you did me a favor, um, game. Thank you very much. What happens if I raise the- I can raise the whole house, right? Yeah, okay, okay. That's what foundation means! <laughs> um, it's when that to be used after you've raised everything. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I've never really made a house that would work this way, I guess. Because I never use foundation. But that's cool. And it covers up that spot that I hated so much. It covers up the spot where, you know, on the left where it didn't get the brown trim and I was so annoyed by that. It, we don't have that problem anymore. Can truly pretend that it never happened. All right, I think now I am officially done with the outside. Well, first of all, first of all, we're gonna need some cash. I came across something here. I think that might be just ugly enough without being too ugly. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it. Do I want to do that for every wall? Yeah, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll do that for every wall. Now, we just need to fill this place with as many, basically as many objects as possible. We could do two couches. Oh wait, that's the kitchen. 
That is the kitchen, isn't it? Okay. Do I have a living room even? Do I not make a living room? I'm gonna make this a tiny living room. Okay, how about this is the living room and this is the living room and the kitchen. And then I will put, I will place a dining area over there in the back room. That'll work, that'll, that'll do the trick. No, they don't need a TV, do they? Because this is a cottage and they're probably like, they just read and they just enjoy each other's company. I need some decor and I do need a lamp in here as well. Mm, maybe I should put a matching one or just, or like a, oh no, not matching. What am I thinking? A mismatched floor lamp would be much better. That's what I'm talking about. I, I should um probably have not put quite so many windows here because it's really limiting my options to actually decorate the rooms. That's adorable. Yes. Maybe just no um <laughs> no windows in the kitchen. That seems bad, right? I mean, well here I'll just do a window there. We definitely need to give them a bunch of fruit because I think they always have their own. Oh, and. This little um, mug rack thing is speaking to me as well. I think they probably also need countertop kitchen accessories, maybe? Maybe there? I think they need that. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I thinking? Which of these two? Pretty as a pitcher or a car as a pitcher? I think this one. Yes, that's what they need. These are just like, this is one of the things I had in mind immediately when I thought of this idea. Cause like, you know, all the houses like this probably have these things on the walls. I've never tried to make a dining room this small. <laughs> these tables are all kind of too big for it. So we might have to go, with, that one's okay. I think I want this chair and I'm just gonna keep it the color it comes in. Cause that's perfect. Oh, does it really not fit the last chair that I need? Yep, I can only fit. Uh, could I put another chair if I do that? That's the question. No, wait. Oh, for a second I thought. Ooh, ooh, I do have one thing I want to put in the living or in the dining room before I leave it. That one beautiful rug that only comes in red. Yes. I love that rug. I left off also in the bathroom and I need to put some sort of little rug in there because I feel like in a house like this, you need a rug in every room. Maybe that'll work and I could just turn it to the side so that it looks like it's one panel. Let's show you how that looks. Um, kind of ugly, honestly. <laughs> or, okay, maybe if I just put it in between there. That's, it is ugly, but that's, it's ugly in a good way now, I think. I mean, kind of. The last room that I want to do right now is the bedroom. I already just placed this little thing in there. I don't really want to deal with that yet. Um, so I have a bedroom. Basically, I'm realizing that I made everything just slightly too small. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to get into that bed, are they? Well, maybe if I turn that. I'm just like really, tr really trying to make this little thing work. And it honestly has no business being here in the first place. But I just really want it to work. So we're gonna pretend that it does work. There's absolutely nothing else that will really fit in this room, sadly. Why does it intersect with the um, things? I don't know. I don't know why, but it just, just does that, I guess. Can I fit it in this way? Nope. I think that's it. I mean, there's more that can be done. 
I think I would just like to come back to it another time. Oh, shit, I forgot, to, I forgot to make them married to each other. I gave them wedding rings and the same last name, but, but I did not make them married, so. She likes her bookshelf. I love the kitchen. The kitchen might be my favorite, except it is the whole, <laughs> the whole house really is a little cramped, but I do love the kitchen. Basically, I love any kitchen where I put that particular set of pots and pans in it. Um, okay, the dining room actually might be my favorite just because these chairs are beautiful and because we have our little um, plates on the wall. I think it, it really actually helps that I accidentally made all the rooms too small because if you ever stay at a cabin or something, the rooms are always kind of tight and they have like a lot of furniture cluttered all around. So I feel like it's actually kind of accurate. Um, and then the upstairs is a little sparse right now. I gotta figure out what I even want to do with those two rooms. I think one's a bathroom. One will be a bathroom and then this one, I don't know. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't know that this would work, but it looks like they turned the fire on. But then, and then if you look upstairs outside, like the um, chimney's actually blowing smoke. Like the chimney actually freaking works. One last thing that I did want to do before I signed off, because this was actually one of my main things that I was planning for this place, was that they would, oh shoot, I didn't. <laughs> I remember when I took out all those windows in the kitchen, should probably put some of them back in. I seem to have lost the gardening stuff. Oh, there it is. That looks lovely. So that's it for now. If you're watching this on YouTube later, um, thanks for watching and follow me on Twitch because I might, I am hoping and I I'm planning to do some more streams because this was fun and I want to build more stuff. So let me know what you'd like me to try to build next. I want to build more houses. Um, bye.